Hey guys, my name's Rudy. In this video, we're going to internationalize our Flutter applications. If you want to get to where we are now, please watch the other videos in the series and we build upon the application in each step so you'll get caught up right where we are. First thing you can do is open up VS Code and install this extension called VS Code Flutter I18 and JSON. This extension is really cool. It allows us to generate dark code that has all the hard-coded values for us to use inside of our application. Um, so we can have autocomplete and be able to um, add new languages very, very easily. Perfect. So once we do that, we need to open up our PubSpec YAML and add a new package. So this is going to be Flutter localization. And this is also going to come from the SDK. Wonderful. And let's go ahead and run packages git. Sorry, this is an S, Flutter localizations. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to add our generated file. So open up the command palette. We're going to type init, and this will run the code generation for us. We're going to just leave the default, and we hit enter. Awesome. So what it does is it creates a config for us that we can customize where the generated path is being generated. Here's the generated file that we'll, we don't want to modify by hand and see it generates these functions for us, as well as our JSON file to write all of our strings inside. So let's go ahead and add a new one called title. We're gonna say Flutter Rocks. And then now once you do this, you have to run this update command and this will update the generated file for you. And this will do it for every language that you have. Awesome. So once we have this, we need to open up our main.dart and start to customize um, this, you know, how we actually add the localization to the application. So we're going to do final i18n equal to i18n.delegate. We can go ahead and import this. Okay. Let's do down here at the bottom. Let's provide our resolution callback. So this would be um, locale resolutions callback. Yeah, locale resolution callback, here we go. And then resolution. And what we're gonna do is this is basically gonna be if it can't um, determine the locale where we want to fall back to a locale that we do have supported. So in this case, we're just gonna support back to English. Wonderful. And we also want to provide a supported locales. And I'll link to instructions on how you can set this up in iOS to be able to um, update your info plist to be able to support multiple languages because this is just for the Flutter application itself. When you release to an app store, you'll still need to um, add, update the info plist manually. So we're gonna have the 118 and they're going to have, this is the part that we have that package for. So global material is like material localizations dot delegate right here. And we need the Cupertino one. So global or sorry, global widgets one, global widgets, localization dot delegate. Wonderful. We can fix our imports. So it sorts them. And Let's see, we also just need a locale too. We can update this manually if we want. So en.us, wonderful. And now, instead of having to hard code this title, something that we could do now is generate this title. So you can do on generate title. This gives us access to the context. And this is how we're gonna be adding our strings from now on. We can have one, eight, n of context. So it uses um, inherited widget to look it up and we can look up our title. That's great. So now we don't have a hard coded title anymore. Wonderful. So let me just show you how easy it is to um, add new titles to our application. So let's go in and let's go to our tabs because we know we have four different things. So we have home about context and settings. Let's go in here and there's a really cool thing that I'll show you, which you can actually separate your strings by folder. So I can say 
home. And then you can say title. This would be home. And you may be asking, well, why would I want to do that? Well, this way you can have your strings, you know, well, when you have code complete, you can see all the individual um, strings sorted by the thing you're looking for. So settings, title will be settings. We have contacts. And about, I believe. Yep. Okay, so once we have that, we can run our update command just like before. So we're going to do command palette and then update. It will update our titles for us. See, this is what I was saying. If you have the nested objects, it allows us to go in and scope it for uh, what we're looking for. So you can just type contacts and it filters out all the strings that are related to the contacts. Let's go into here, and now we just do the same thing as before. We do i18n of context, and we're gonna do context title. The cool part is you can do this very easily for multiple ones, so we can do about title, context title, and this one was home title, and settings title. The only thing you have to import is this generated file and it takes care of everything else for you. Awesome. So one quick thing I wanted to show you is how you can use this to generate your locales based on different languages. So let me go ahead and get that set up for you. If you want to support more languages than just English, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is obtain a Google Translate API key and this extension will do everything for you. So once you have an API key, you can run the update command to set the API key here. And once you do that, you can then run the create automatic translations from the default locale. In this case, our default locale is English. So we hit enter. It will take the strings from your English file, run over the Google Translate API. And if we look, we have our Spanish translation, for example. But what's cool is if you notice here, we have the name variable on the right and Japanese it includes it on the left so it knows where to put things inside the sentence um, that makes sense and you can do this for as many languages as you want so for example we can add some new locales as well so let's do um, French let's add Chinese and Russian. Do the same command as before. See at first it's going to be empty and we're going to run up, run our command again. It's going to take a second and there it goes. It generates it for us and we have French, Japanese, Russian, and Chinese. Very cool. Now, all that's left is to just go out throughout your entire application using this command as before. You can also set up custom Dart extensions if you want to make this easier to grab the, just, you know, using the build context to have access to this object. But this is so small already, I feel like it's uh, more hassle than it's worth. So that does it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Please reach out to me on Twitter and uh, make sure to follow me on my Medium post too. I like to blog about this stuff as well. And of course, I have a Patreon if you want to support me. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.